With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, students. So here in this question, it is given that in each of the following cases, whether gx is a factor of px, and it is given that px is equal to x cube minus x square plus x minus one, and gx is given as x minus one. Px is given as x cube minus x square plus x minus one. Now we know that x minus one will be the factor of px if p of one will be equal to zero. So according to the factor theorem, one polynomial is the factor of another polynomial only if the remainder is zero. So therefore. To find out the remainder, we have to equate gx is equal to zero. To find out the value of x here, we will get x is equal to one. Now let us substitute x is equal to one in this given expression. So according to the factor theorem, gx will be the factor of px if p of one is equal to zero. Now let us find out whether p of one is equal to zero or not. So let us find out p of one. So here p of one is equal to one cube minus one square plus one minus one. Now let us see whether it is equal to zero or not. So here we will get one minus one plus one. Minus one. So here, all the ones will get cancelled out, and we will get zero. So here we can see that since our remainder p one is equal to zero, therefore our g x is the factor of p x. Hence, this is our given solution. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.